In this video, we're moving this system into my new shed, but we're upgrading it as we do. Now, this has been my main system for uh, some certain species of, of macroalgae. We've got Oliver in here, we've got some red ogo, cryptonemia, crenulata, and so on. And it's done really well, but actually, it's time to move it and upgrade it. This is the upgraded system area, and you can see I've already done a fair bit of work to it. We've built the stand. This is the um, 3 by 2 inch C24 stand, uh, so very strong, very sturdy. The tank here is a 4 by 2 by 2 which is about 450 litres. This is my new sump, I guess, for this system. And on the top is where we're going to have our um, triple tank from the other shed. And it's basically going to run from this sump, it's going to go up the side, as it does already, into the triple tank and then it's going to run back down. So it's quite a big improvement in terms of volume because the current sump on that tank is about 100 litres. This is 450 litres, so massive increase in volume. The reason the water's cloudy because I've added salt already, so it's pre-salted. We've got RO dripping in. It's going to take a long time to fill up. Um, this is about six hours worth of filling, so it might take a day or so. We've got a heater in there um, and we've got a little pump just to move the uh, water around so it dissolves. Everything is sort of temporary at the moment just to get it running. The difficulty with this project is I have to move it all over in one go. I can't just do it bit by bit because all the algae needs to go back into the tanks. So uh, that makes it a little bit tricky in terms of time. But that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. All right, so we've emptied out all of the uh, macroalgae. We've also collected up all of my cleanup crew. Wow, look at all that. So I started off with maybe 10 of these dove snails and we can see here they've multiplied a lot. And we've also got, if I get the lighting a bit better, some trochus snails in there. These were babies that were born or at least created in my flex tank. I moved them over and now we have a little population of trochus snails. That is a big amount of cleanup crew for such a small overall volume of tank. But they've been doing a great job. Here's all my algae, excuse the chicken feeder. Um, we've got ulva in there, cryptonemia. Uh, there's a mixture of different ogos and things in there. Another few rare gracilarias. And then we've got red gracilaria in there. So that all needs moving over. I'm gonna separate it out and make it look a little bit uh, more tidy as well. So really the next step is to drain this all down, take it all fully apart. I'm gonna be dismantling all the pipe work. Uh, I'm gonna do that off camera. In terms of water, there's enough water in the 450 sump to fill this up um, completely without adding any more water. I was contemplating transferring this water over to the new system, but looking at how murky it's gone, I'll probably just collect up around 25 litres worth, a barrel's worth, just to transfer over some bacteria, um, but that's about it. When I put this system together originally, I did know I would be moving it at some point, and um, what I did is I actually didn't solvent weld these joints here, so that I could lift this tank out of the stand easier. If I had solvent welded them, then this would be quite an awkward move. But actually, I can just take this bottom pipe off. You can see the results though. There has been salt creep coming through that gap. Um, I was fairly confident that it would be okay, but there is some leakage. So I think now, going forward, now it's gonna be in its permanent position, we're gonna solvent weld this and make sure that this salt creep doesn't continue. All right, I thought I'd just show you where we're at because a lot's happened. I've done a quite a bit of stuff. Um, you can see that the tanks are on top. No, I haven't cleaned them perfectly. Um, one of the reasons was it wasn't necessary. And the other reason is this stuff, although it's starting to dry out, will um, actually seed this system with good bacteria and good algae and things. So let's not clean it too much. Let's transfer as much over as we can. I totally forgot actually to um, keep some water. So. What we're going to do is just pump um, water from this system to the top tank and then whatever comes out of there I will just uh, replace with fresh water. Cabling wise it's a bit of a mess, I haven't actually um, tidied it up, we're just getting going as quickly as we can. Um, you can see in the bottom here we've got a heater, we've got a power head just to create some flow because there'll be more flow coming down there and we've got that pump that I just reviewed, the um, one I got from Amazon. So that's just connected to some 1622 green pipe work. So I've got it coming out the front and it goes up 
and connects to there. Yes, electrics and water don't mix, but um, this doesn't leak, so it should be okay. And I've got a million RCDs and also a million fuses between this socket and my house and everything. So the minute water hits this, everything will turn off. So don't worry. And then we got there and we have the same system that was fitted in my other shed. Again, comes out and down. So that's actually been solvent welded now. The only thing I need to do really is just turn it on and pump the water up. So without further delay, we'll plug it in. And fingers crossed, things start to happen. I think the pipes are just filling up at the moment. Yep, okay. That was, whew, I thought nothing was gonna happen then for a minute, but there we go. Um, and what flow rate are we on? So if you remember my review, if you haven't seen it, it's um, the video before this one, we're on number one. So we can turn this up, I think in the long run, we might run at 2,000 litres an hour actually. And that's the max flow rate of the pump. So that pump, I got it on Amazon, um, I'll put the link in the description. It was 80 pounds, and you can see we're going up from a two foot tank all the way up the side through my um, through my 32 mil pipes. I've got three outlets, and that's it running on full. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, that's a really good flow rate, much better than what I had before. And the benefit of this is when I've got algae in here, it'll create nice uh, current and nice flow. So that'd be excellent. Right, so it's been uh, just over a day since the last segment, and you can see I have finished it off essentially. Um, lighting wise at the top we've got my night crew uh, LED bar this is quite a good one it's not massively bright but it's bright enough for the algae that I'm growing in here and uh, we've got that on the night crew timer which is really really good worth a buy if you've got a night crew light um, down the bottom on the 4x2 we have got a fluval fresh and plant and the idea of the bottom section here is we're going to be growing Cheeto in it uh, hopefully exclusively as long as nothing else gets down there so good light for Cheeto and then I've got different algae in each section this isn't the final selection of algae that are going to be in here these are actually going to be in here long term in fact it's all going to be Calerpa species in here but as I'm moving my species over from my other tanks they're just going to be in there for the moment in terms of sort of filtration and stuff at the moment we have got a uh, Biomaster 250 or something that was running on this system originally so it's fully live fully mature um, although yes it is a bit underpowered for this size system it's only going to be doing um, mechanical filtration bear in mind the biological filtration is going to be done by all the macroalgae and eventually as well this fluval shaker I've got here what we're going to do with this is um, obviously put the external canister from there but we're also going to run it into this sump so eventually that's a loud door eventually this whole system that you can see framed now will be one thing and that'll be around 900 liters and then there'll be another external canister plus all the live rock that's going to be in this display so it's going to be a really quite large system and hopefully it's going to run really quite nicely in terms of noise you can hear that it's relatively loud and that's because I've not done any baffles or anything on the downpipes. This is going to be a working environment. Um, I'm not really designing it for relaxation, so a bit of noise isn't a problem. And you might be wondering why I've left such a big gap between this uh, bar and the tank here. And that's purely for access. It's hard to see on this, on this video, but that's two foot deep, that bottom tank. And I need to lean right in there to get to the back or get to the bottom. When I put my arm in there, it's up to my shoulder almost. I have got quite short arms, so um, that's for access. This tank at the top, I can reach uh, fine and I can get into that with no problem. So it's all working rather nicely. So this section of my fish house looks pretty nice now. I'm pretty happy with it. We've got a lovely freshwater plant bay over there with shrimps in. Um, this, if you've seen it in my previous video, is running great. All the shrimps are in there. None of them have died. The floating plants are growing. Uh, very very happy and pleased with that one thing I have done on there is added a um, 207 onto it 
just to give it a bit of filtration, collect the sediment. As you can see there's a bit of sediment there, so hopefully that will work its way down. Um, the shaker will be the next tank I think to set up, and then the rest of the fish house is still is still blank and empty. So but what we're going to be doing is basically filling it from that direction. So this section here will be the next one we do, and that's what these tubs are for. Exciting little project here, probably something you haven't seen before. Um, very different in terms of how I'm going to be doing it. So thanks for watching, and a big shout out to my channel sponsors and patrons. Um, if you'd like to join them in helping me to run this channel, then you can either use the YouTube channel memberships uh, or go on to Patreon and um, you can support me on there. So I'll put the links for those in the description. Also, if you like the video, remember to subscribe and also give it a like. Comments go a long way too. If you like this or dislike this build, please let me know. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.